Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome one and all to another episode of Cut the Tape. Yes, the only show that has three words in the title. That's a true fact. Look it up. It's Decepticon Friday. So we're going to open up some bad guys. But first, these are my shoes. So what's the deal with the shoes? All right, so um, I am uh, a person who has a lot of foot pain. I have plantar's fasciitis in my right foot. So I have to get these special orthopedic shoes. And I thought, these shoes are boring. There, there's, you know, no flames on them to make them go faster. There's no spikes. You know, there's no razzle-dazzle. They're just like shoes. They don't even have like a brand name on the side of them. It's just shoes. And these make me feel like an old man. So I'm gonna add a little razzle dazzle. So a few months ago, I came across a whole bunch of these sneaker snappers. I must have found like 24 of these carded, 1984, 85, 1984. Sneaker snappers from Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters, not the Filmation Ghostbusters, which oddly enough is now just called Filmation Ghostbusters, while the real Ghostbusters are just called Ghostbusters. So, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna open up these sneaker snappers, put them on my sneaker. They have been waiting, uh, what's today? I'm. It's Arizona Friday, I film it Thursday, it's 1984, so that's uh, uh, 94, 2014, 36, and 36 years, 8 months. These have been waiting 36 years and 8 months for a child like me to open. So. Uh, being that the child that I am, I thought we would open them. This is definitely the oldest thing I've opened on the show so far. All right. I got a fresh new blade. Ooh. It is weird to cut something that's like twice as old. That my old, more than twice as old as my kids. Gosh, how old are my kids? I don't even know. I should probably find out. You know what? It's like shaving your head. I'd never shaved my head before. I'd never even buzzed my head. So, I, you know, you just got to do it. And I did it. And that's a... You can look at that episode. It's just like, I gotta... I just gotta do... There we go. It's like getting a shot. You know, you just... You just got to get a shot. You just take it. You just take it. I don't know why I'm trying to be all nice to the packaging. I'm not going to keep it. I've got like a million of these. Uh, if anyone's looking for sealed Ghostbusters sneaker snappers, I've got your hookup. Here they are. This is the inside of the sneaker snappers. So here is the loose sneaker snappers. And, uh, ooh, the texture is a bit weird. I thought these would be like a, they're sticky too. I don't like that. It's gonna get dust on it. Ah, uh, I don't like that. So it's like rubbery, it's not like solid plastic, which I wasn't expecting. All right, so it opens, all right, and, and it traps. 
the lace in here. I like to go laces out, you know. Laces out, man. Let's see. I'm gonna... Let's see how much lace, if I can get the laces and the knot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm such a kid. Oh, I'm a big kid. They're sticky. I don't know why. It's been sealed. It's been sealed almost 40 years. I don't know why they're all sticky. I don't like that. I don't like it. I mean the old, I mean these shoes, these special orthopedic shoes, man, they make my feet feel great. Uh, but there's no like, I love shoes. There's no like pizzazz to them, so I gotta, I gotta add some pizzazz. I am gonna take a wild guess here, but I'm the only man walking around with vintage sneaker snappers on his shoes. That elevates these shoes to acceptable. I do love shoes. You, you, when, when you dress to go out, and I mean go out, not like to the store, you gotta dress two ways. It's either from your hat down or from your shoes up. So, uh, Ghostbuster sneaker snappers. Who are you gonna call? I don't know. You call whoever you want to call. We're gonna talk about this because this has hit the fandom this week, and it's like, it's like the annoying bomb went off. So the annoying bomb is, and this is sticky too. I got my goof, my goof off somewhere here. So, I'm going to talk about this. This is the Amazon exclusive War for Cybertron Trilogy, Earthrise, Transformers, Generations, Ramjet, Dirge, Chug, set of two, uh, Siege Kingdom set. Amazon exclusive. It comes with Ramjet and Dirge. Remolds of the, uh, I guess it's Voyager class? Voyager class uh, Starscream. Let me talk to you about something Amazon does. They don't consider this to be a collectible. This is just the box. The item you ordered is what's inside the box. So when I got the box, it was this box with a label on it. They just put it in the mail. They actually had to take this out of the brown shipping box that it came in to put a label on it. Other people, very few people, have gotten this box inside of a proper shipping box. I find that really annoying. I guess it's a cost measure of some kind to, uh, to just ship it like this. From that point of view, sure, I understand it. Now there's an option on Amazon, which people were so nice to point out, but it did give me an idea. You know what? Yeah. People were nice enough to put it out, to point something out. They weren't nice about how they pointed it out, though. Okay, the one. Okay. So, you can click when ordering this item on a box saying, please ship in a box. When I order something off Amazon, I'm on my phone, and I just go, buy it now. Don't do that. Go to the cart, go to the regular checkout, click ship in box. What I've decided to do, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try it next next uh, set. I believe the next set is um, Ironhide and Prowl. I think are the next Amazon exclusive sets. I'm gonna change that to be gift wrapped. So I want them to send it gift wrap, and my hope and my plan is that I will get this, I'll get a box like this, gift wrapped, 
inside of another box so they know to take care of the box they're shipping it in. Now, I was very meticulous about how careful I was to remove the sticker. It had a big sticker right here, and it's still a little sticky. Still a little sticky. You, just, you use your goof off, uh, or uh, glue be gone, whatever, whatever substance you're, you're using. Uh, you can peel it off. Uh, I've seen some people do that. Sometimes uh, the sticker's on there so tight, when it passes through the machines, the rollers, they just press on it uh, as it goes through the USPS system or the Amazon delivery system. And when you peel that sticker off, it takes part of the cardboard with it. No bueno. Muy malo. When you do that and you peel it off without any goof off or glue be gone, you're going to have a bad time. Let's cut the tape. Now this is, uh, so the box, all right, let's talk about this box now. I just like boxes like this. They take up more space to ship when you're moving your entire collection to, you know, Isla Nublar. It doesn't quite line up on the shelf properly if you're displaying it a certain way. Now it's like this and you can't see what it is. You know, you want to put it like this, but now it's up against the wall like this and it just, it's aggravating. This is not as bad as Armada boxes, which, or, or uh, 2007 movie boxes. I think Armada was the worst. No, those are difficult to photograph. 2007 movie boxes are impossible to photograph without a glare. So I, I, I like my boxes. I like to get creative with packaging. Packaging is important, but this seems unnecessary. This, look, this piece here seems unnecessary because the toys are right here. This just seems unnecessary. So we're gonna cut the tape, take this out and see if I am correct. We're gonna cut it from the top. Another little tape here, okay. Okay, we're gonna cut you. It's got a little tab there, yeah, there we go. Uh -uh. There we are. Boom. Now, my first instinct was return it, get another one shipped back to me. Of course, Amazon sold out. Thanks, Amazon. All right, so a few things. Number one, I was wrong. Part of the figure does extend into this piece here. I think if they had flipped it, it would have been tighter in the box because it's not a window box. A window box meaning you can see the figure inside. This is a solid box. There's no window on this to see the figure. So the figures are packaged together. If they had flipped one of the jacks, It would have fit you know you take this guy you flip him over so i instantly picked up on this the second i i grabbed it i think this is the flimsiest tray i've i've probably ever seen a transformer i understand cutting down on materials uh and you're using plastic instead of cardboard you know one is you don't use plastic, you save oil. You use cardboard, then you kill a tree. Uh, the world is what it is. Make sure to recycle. Recycling's important. But it just feels really flimsy. Just very flimsy. All right, before we get to that, let's examine the inside of the box, look for some spiders. I don't see any spiders, but I do see something curious, which is this. It's the little piece of the Cybertron map. Now, normally you get the backer card, right? And you gotta cut the piece out. So I'm saving all these. I'm deciding how I'm gonna frame them later. So it's a little weird. I would have loved for them to all have like a little number. Hey, this came from the Dirge Ramjet set. 
Uh, so that that's a little weird. Also, what I was expecting was this. This is a backer card from a different set, something like this. But now they're saving money by just giving us a piece. Now this is better for the environment, but if it. Uh, leaves a little je ne sais quoi. A little, hmm, taste. Uh, random paperwork explaining uh, copyright, don't steal stuff. I don't know. Nobody reads that stuff or pays attention to it. Instructions, instructions. One, two, three, four, five. Change, start, change, finish. That's all we needed in 1984. That's all we get in 2020. Start, change, finish. It's got its little, uh, you know, decoder here. I always like to keep a vintage decoder handy and a new decoder. Actually, I don't know if this is going to pick up, but you see how this one is considerably darker. This is the vintage one. It's also much bigger. I think they should have made them the same size. And hell, if you're going to do this, give them the rub signs. Why not? Give them rub signs. I know it kind of looks like I'm, like, feeling for lumps. But I'm not. I instantly could tell that the tolerances are different on these two figures. This one being very tight. This one's loose. So the last episode or an episode before we did Thundercracker and Skywarp two pack, they were super tight, super tight figures. This one's tight. This one feels super tight. This one feels like it's a little loosey goosey. No, it's tight. It's tight. It's 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 tight. It's tight. Yeah, yeah, it's tight. It's odd because the knees feel loose. They have that peg there, but it's only this leg. This leg's super tight. This one's not. I'm curious if anyone else is having issues with that, because I was really impressed with the tolerance levels of Skywarp and Thundercracker. And all over, this is pretty good, except that one leg. We shall we shall remove thine weapons later. Oh man, this is super tight. But again, this is, this is much tighter than this figure, all right? And this leg is much tighter than the left leg of the Ramjet, but it is looser. It's loose. So there must be some kind of uh, adjustment that wasn't made on the uh, left legs for the molds. This I mean, this leg is super tight. He's tighter than, than Ramjet. But, again, it's the left leg. Both of them left, left legs, a little loose. That's the only thing I can complain about. I mean, they're, they're great. I absolutely love the size. I, I love the figures. You know, if you said, hey, we're going to do a 1986 movie studio series... Put these guys in there. Done. Done. These guys are done. Done. Boom. Great. Here's another thing that I need to make room for. Uh, I'm in the middle of setting up loose figures. Oh, let's see. You know, I just... When I was packing to move to this house four years ago, I took my mini cons and I just went 
and now I'm in the horrible, horrible process of, all right, this mini con goes with a figure. All right, this mini con is Armada. This one's Energon. All right, this one's Cybertron. This one's a Takara booster pack. This one's a Lucky Draw. This one came with a CD. This is one came with the DVD. Oh my gosh, just. And you know what? I, I don't have all the the bot bots. They're they're not really my thing. I have a bunch. I have them all, you know, car I have all the variants carded. But the individual little bot bots, like I have a bunch loose, but not all of them. And again, I've just went shh. I just I don't know why I did that. Anyway, this is a uh, Transformers Cyberverse Power of the Allspark, uh, Bumblebee Battles, um, Allspark Returns, Solar Shot, Decepticon Shockwave, uh, Evad Sace Plus, Transformers, um, Cur Curse of uh, Iacon. So it's oh Spark Armor. It's also got Spark Armor. So this is a little older figure. This is the figure that you have the shockwave that doesn't turn into anything. He turns into, like, a spider. He basically just folds over like you punched him in the gut. And his head goes in like a turtle shell. And he's just standing there like a scared cat. And then you put the armor on him. And it gives him spark armor. Yeah! You want to hear my Jason Momoa impression? Yeah, yeah. That was it. I mean, I didn't say it was good, but I, I don't see you having a Jason Momoa impression. No comment. Okay. You know, as a parent, I'm trying to teach my kids about sarcasm, and uh, it's difficult. It's it's difficult. Okay. Ooh. See, they should have taken this part. And put it with uh, ironworks. You already had it tooled up. So what's weird about this is that it's already it's got like it's got rubber parts. It's got rubber parts. You know, like it's made out of the same flimsy material this is. So I'm not I'm not going to bother to transform it because basically that's there. There, he's transformed. That's what's annoying about this design. You don't have to make him a gun or a blaster. Just make him an, an upside down submarine. All right, just give me, give me that please and I'll be happy. I mean, I will, you know, I say I'll be happy, but So, click, click, helmet goes on top. You know, this kind of reminds me of the UK Action Masters, where you put the helmet on top, and uh, it's spring-loaded to activate the Beast Helmet. You know, I wonder... If this is the same figure that came in the Shockwave Prowl Quintesson 2-pack. It is the same figure that came in the Shockwave Prowl Quintesson 3-pack. Only he didn't have the spark armor, he had the helmet. Are there any paint differences? There do not appear to be any paint differences. Hey, how about that? 
You learn something new every day. Boom. Boom. And then this just goes on the back because, of course, and, uh, oh, no, I guess that comes out. That goes on the back. No, back, that goes on the back. Yeah, my plug's on. Now he's turned into Inferno from Beast Wars with the butt fan. It, you know, honestly, Cyberverse, R.I.D., the RID, feels kind of like a chore to, to have to open. It's like you're so close to making something that's so cool that it would appeal to a kid and an adult, but you just focused on the kid and you didn't just like take a little extra step to make me happy too. I mean, you got my money, so whatever. I, I guess I, I guess I'm wrong because you, you got my money. You already got my money. But I have more fun opening this stuff. Like, this to me is like, yeah, this is where the branch should start for children before they move to this, before they move to Generations. But I think, I think there's somewhere, if, if you want to say somewhere between this and this, but is that then like a deluxe generation? I, it's, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. What I think Cyberverse could have been even if they kept the, kept the toy design the same. If Cyberverse had been done in the animated style, then I think it would have been an instant buy for me. Instant buy-in to the IP. Oh, Cyberverse. <sighs> it is what it is. All right, I think that's going to be it. Uh, there's a bunch more stuff here, but you know what? I feel like the air has just... All the energy of the universe has just flowed out of me. I'm going to go check on my chickens, and then I'm going to go back to doing drywall. Send me an email. Uh, cut the tape at tftalk.net. Um, thank you for, I forget his name. You, you sent me the, the, var there's another variant on the, the Thundercracker Skywarp box. I just, like, God damn. Oh, just, <laughs> but this makes me feel good. This makes me feel good. I should have started with Cyberverse because, you know, and then go to the high, but I wanted to start with this. Wash your hands, register to vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for, just asking you to vote. Wear a mask. If you can't be outside for a few hours wearing a thin piece of cloth over your face, then you're in the high risk category and you shouldn't be outside to begin with. It's not a hoax. See you next time.